Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another what's old video for you today. It is Wednesday and we're gonna start following Kathy around to see what's old for us today. Hey guys, pretty good day again. A lot of the sales, I listed some of our kids items yesterday. So some of the sales you'll see are theirs. So it's like not profit, but money right. back. So good sales day overall though. Uh, first up I sold these kids use size crocs i did pay 5.99 for these sold them on kitizen for um 18 plus shipping so not too bad and then yeah kitizen because i listed some kids stuff yesterday came back to life for me i think i have three kitizen sales which my last kitizen sale previously was like june yeah. 3rd so it, i was gonna say oh it's been that long yeah oh my goodness i mean okay. i think i had one like a day before that that snowsuit but yeah it's been and we have mentioned that slow. Kitizen does slow down probably more than the others because it is a mom-based community yeah. and moms are very busy in the summers, so. And I just haven't been listening as much kids stuff, yeah. which it's, even though you can sell women's, it doesn't sell as well as the kids stuff. That's a dangerous path you just It's like we've there. been listening like crazy and doing a whole bunch of work, but yeah. yet still stuff everywhere. Uh, so these are one of the items where I'm pretty much just breaking even. These were some old navy jeans I bought for my son, but when I tried them on him the other day, they just, I don't like the light colored jeans that much, so I just didn't feel like they were going to look good, so I sold them. I did pay $6.50 for those at Once Upon a Child, and I sold them for $9.50 plus, $9 plus shipping on Kitizen. Old navy jeans don't retail for that much to begin with, so I was happy with that. This. So I really hope the buyer read the description because this is full of holes. Um, you can see there. And looked at the photos because there was photos of all the holes. Yeah, I put photos. You'll see on the screen. I titled it "Read Description" in big bold letters before I even wrote right. the title. So like, if she missed it, I mean, I couldn't have made it more obvious. So <laughs> I wasn't trying to hide anything. So these, this sweater is just from Target, but for some reason it's super highly sought after in like the kids resale world. So. Several of them have sold in like the last day of Mercari for 50. Because of my holes and stuff in it, I listed mine for 25 and it sold pretty much right away. I did have a 5% off sale running in my store. So the buyer paid 23.75 free shipping. Within minutes, right? Right, like right after I listed it. So I'm like, I hope she spent yeah. enough time to read it. But obviously I think, I think with the deal, I mean, Right now, there's like lots, there's like a style of stuff that's all ripped yeah. like this. So yeah. I think that even with the holes, it looks fine. But yeah, I don't want anyone to be disappointed. So, but yeah, if you have the sweatshirt, list it on Mercari. It'll sell right <laughs> away too. Or Kitizen for $50 probably. But yeah, so that, I bought that off Kitizen a while back. So somebody, I think they priced it at 30 but they had 50% off five running. So I just bundled four more things and pretty much paid 30 for them all. And I didn't want any of the other things, so I just been selling those off. I think I sold at least three of those at JBF, so I've probably made my money back right. now that I'm sold this. But this I bought for my son, and he did wear it a few times. The person that I bought it from said it was excellent condition, but it already had like one or two of the holes that you see. Not the big holes, yeah. yeah. And then when I washed it, it just kept getting worse. So glad I still made my money back. I got a cute photo op out of it, which yeah. is what I wanted it for. And I'm sure that can be, you know, hemmed or, or yeah. mended or whatever the terminology is, but. Or add some more holes and make yeah. it look like it was supposed right, to right, be right. like that. <laughs> or maybe even just cut off the sleeves, which is where most of the holes are. Anyways, uh, this is another one. My son actually just wore this on our little Jellystone trip last week. Then I brought it home, washed it and sold it. So. This is Peak Kids, it's just Smokey the Bear, it says protect our forest. And, oh, <laughs> I'm actually literally wearing Smokey the Bear. <laughs> yeah. That is funny. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, so this, I think I bought this off the buy sell trade page a while back for 20. He's worn it several times. It has a lot of staining on it. The stains are hard to see, but they're there. So probably could have got more, but actually I'm pretty happy with what I got considering the stains. I got $18 plus shipping on oh, Mercari nice. back, so. All right. Next sale is going out to a viewer, A.H. Yeah, so this is a Fox Racing t-shirt, new with tag, going out to Noelle. She just said she loves our channel and has learned so much. So thank awesome. you, Noelle. Um, yeah, so she grabbed this for $13 plus shipping. That was an offer she sent me. I was happy to accept. I have about $2 and some change into that retail arbitrage. 
Noelle, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching the channel. All right, I did sell another one of those hats. So again, not huge money, but they sell consistently. This one was the Boston Boston Bruins. I think it's Boston so, Bruins. Yeah. So this sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Well, it was plus shipping, but free shipping because of the Father's Day thing going on with Facebook. So I didn't. It didn't come out of my money, but the buyer didn't have to pay the actual shipping. But I got the label. So ten dollars. I have a dollar thirty nine into that from the bin stimulus check challenge. So about an eight dollar profit there. Not bad. Not bad for. And a it hat. ships first class, so yep, it's super easy. Our heart. Brown cargo shorts. These also sold on Facebook for twenty plus shipping, um, and I have five ninety nine into these ones. See, it's so weird because those ones he didn't get free shipping. It yeah. showed that he paid the nine dollars for shipping. We so tried to look in to see why, but we can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are some books I listed a few days ago. Um, Somebody offered me 33. I probably could have got more if I waited, but I was ex like, what I would have hoped to get out of them was 40, you know, plus shipping. So 33 is not too far off. Do I really want to hold off for who knows how long? Right. Till I get another offer. And no, I didn't. So <laughs> I accepted it. I think I only actually paid like $5.99 for those, but since I averaged my cost of goods that day, it was $8.38. So still about an $18 profit. That was fine with me. First up was this little dog gingerbread Christmas outfit. Um, I sold this on eBay for eight plus shipping. It came from the bin, so $1.54 into eight, not too bad. Um, this buyer, I don't think they're a viewer, but they left a nice message saying basically their mother passed away recently and her nickname was Ginger and they've always worn gingerbread, gingerbread PJs yeah. for like their whole lives and now her dog has them, so see. You can't just leave that kind of stuff at the bins, even though I made like five dollars profit. That was just you made, so nice. You made that family's day. Right. Like that was a perfectly good dog outfit. It would have just went to a landfill. All right, let me see. I know that they sold these. All right, so yeah, these Levi's orange tab. So these you see ones, a little orange tab on there. Yeah. Um, orange tab is generally vintage. I don't think they remade it yet. I'm not positive. Anyways, I've sold um, several pairs. This one has been taking the longest to sell, but it kind of like had a weird shape, like fit to it. And also like some weird fading on the front. So I think that's why, but I paid $9.99 for these originally and they only sold for 25 plus shipping, but that's okay. Still more than doubling my money. These actually sold through global shipping. So the buyer did pay quite a bit more to get them shipped out to them. So yeah, they probably paid probably at least 50 bucks. I didn't check what they're additional shipping was but all right these are some meslin this is my first time selling this brand i think i heard it from rally roots just like a men's dress shoe um i only paid 4.99 for these i don't think this thrift store knew the brand so that was good and i sold them for 53.36 plus shipping on ebay so really good sale there i will definitely pick up that brand again if i see it Box eggs. Right, these sash shoes. I don't know, some sash sells right away, some takes forever. This one's taking quite a while. I recently dropped the price to 30 free ship. With our sale running, this buyer paid 26.66 free ship. And I'm gonna ship them in a pad of flat rate. So 776 is coming out for that. And then I paid $3 for the shoes. I think it was like an $11 profit, which I'm happy with. These dance goes, they're like the vegan Mary Jane dance goes. I sold several pairs of these. These ones took a while to sell. I paid $8.99 for them. Sold them on eBay for, again, I just recently did a sell similar, changed the price to free ship, and then they sold like the next day. So $35.56 free ship. These will also ship in a padded flat rate. So $7.76 for shipping on those. B.E. Right, 
this Harley flannel. Again, recently dropped the price to free ship. Um, and then with our sale, and I think I even set an additional offer, um, buyer paid $33.77 free ship. Um, I have $10.67 into the shirt. And this is under a pound, so shipping cost me $5.66 on that one. Last but not least, another one of our kids' items. These are just some little green Converse. I did, these are one of the ones I paid full price for before I was really a reseller and I just had to have all the colors for our kids. So probably paid 30, sold them for $17.76 plus shipping. So probably making back about half of what I paid for them originally, so. Which isn't too bad. So, all right, we're going to get this stuff all packed up and we'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, we got that all packed up and we did not have any more no. come in. <laughs> Actually, okay, because, yeah. yeah. It's... Sometimes you just don't want to, like, keep shipping. Yeah, it's, it's been one of those days a little bit. <laughs> kind of slept in, didn't yeah. get much done today. Um, you still got some listings up. Well... Yeah, so last night I listed 18, but I didn't cross post them until today. Here. But I counted them as yesterday, just so I feel better about <laughs> having listed something. And then just now, after we packaged before we popped back in, I got I have 10 more drafts on this perfectly ready to list. So after I drop these at the post office, I should have time to do that before our kids wake up, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just need to add measurements because. I feel like every time I don't add measurements, people ask, and then it's like hard to take them out because we put them in the plastic already. Yeah, so it is a pain to, to take measurements just, afterwards. Myself, I don't buy anything if they don't have measurements listed unless it's returnable. So, right. I like to put the measurements in there. So, yeah. Well, yeah, we definitely have our fair share <laughs> of work ahead of us. I think what you already photographed all this stuff. Nope. <laughs> oh no, you have not. Shoes. I just needed them. Oh, that's right. Bag, so I dumped them. <laughs> that's right. We just did a haul on those. I need to type those in the inventory. This whole pile here needs to be that's what I photographed listed. Yesterday. So that's what's getting listed like today. So yeah, this pile she's already photographed, but I think all this stuff here, this is all my stuff that I I need to photograph and get listed or drafted, all that kind of stuff, but <laughs> Yeah, there's just well, little piles everywhere. Space with no piles, but yeah. I don't know. It's kind of part of the job. Definitely part of the job. We don't necessarily call them death piles. You know, they don't sit around forever. Um, but we do have, I don't know, there, there is some stuff in our inventory that we have had for a long time and have not listed. Um, I don't know really where we keep all that, but because <laughs> it's not a whole lot. We have some stuff that... Um, I guess it does qualify as death pile where we, we've been putting it off. Like for instance, off the top of my head, we have that Pendleton blanket that was turned into like a jacket or a coat. Anything with a flaw ends yeah. up in Yeah, anything with flaws. We, we tend to mull over too long. Are we gonna fix it? Or are we gonna just list it? And more often than not, we end up just listing it. And it's, I don't know, that's the stuff that usually sells the first day. In which case it's like, why did, why was this in my death pile for so long anyway? but. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this stuff off to the post office. I don't know, Reese. He's Reese, extra sleepy. He ha he's been mm -hmm. sleeping all day. He wants a tummy rub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get you a tummy rub. 